So I wanted to do a quick what's in my bag video. Um, my son is four months now and I've kind of mastered what I need in my bag. And honestly, things start, are starting to change. So I definitely need less, I feel like, when I go out. But I wanted to show you kind of like my bag, if I could bring everything that I want to bring, if I have no problems like lugging things around, if I am going in a car, I definitely bring all my essentials because I don't want to be caught off guard and I love to be prepared as a mom. I just think that's the way to go. So I use a Louis Vuitton Neverfull as my bag and I use a Life and Play insert. Um, it's called a Tote Savvy, and it contains all the stuff, really, that I need, which is awesome because I can kind of just change bags easily. I'm going to start with what's in the outer pockets first. There's a big pocket here. Um, I tend to keep some extra clothes in there. I haven't really refilled my bag or anything, so I'm just kind of showing to you as is. Um, I keep some extra clothes in here, basically like a full outfit. I often keep... Um, a burp cloth or um, or a bib. I'm getting stuck to this. I also have in a little baggie um, some a little toy, chew toy because my son's teething, a little pacifier, and I just keep them in a baggie so they're sanitary in there. Honestly, you don't need like expensive holders or things if you have like sandwich bags. Um, I have one of these no-touch um, thermometers. I think it's really important to travel with a thermometer. I don't want to figure out that my son has a fever um, when I get home if I'm out all day, so I just bring this with me. Um, I also have some um, butt paste. Um, it's for diaper rashes, and I keep that um, just in case on the go my son has a diaper rash. It's just a small bottle. I also keep some sunscreen in here because we were in Florida um, and we were out in the sun. I miss being in the sun. It's really cold in New York right now. Um, and here I don't really keep anything. Um, there's like pictures and like whatever I just kind of pick up. It's more like a document section, but I don't have any documents. You can, I guess you can keep the mail in there if you really wanted to. So now I'm going to open it up. In the middle of your tote savvy, you have a changing pad that rolls into there. I often um, take it out and clean it and put it in the wash. Um, in here, I also have like a little Huggies um, pack of wipes. I don't keep Huggies in here. I keep um, water wipes in there. Um, so up here, I have some bags. These kind of look like doggy bags, but they're actually for dirty diapers. If you're on the go and you have to like change a dirty diaper in the car, or if you're at somebody's house, you don't just want to throw the dirty diaper into their into their garbage so it can smell up their apartment. Just um, put it in there, and then you know it'll. These are actually Arm and Hammer, so they actually stop um, the poopy diapers and the peepee -pee diapers from smelling. I've also got a nasal aspirator. Um, it's also good for situations in which children are choking um, on liquid. You can kind of put it down there and. Or if I've been on the go and Bryce has had like a stuffy nose, so I kind of use that um, in those situations too. I got that from the hospital, and when you're in the hospital, you should ask for a couple of those. I also have some that are not from the hospital, but it's always nice to have multiples. In this pocket, I have diapers. In a lot of pockets, I actually have diapers because Bryce's diapers are getting bigger, so it's hard to fit so many diapers into one pocket. And I like to carry a decent amount of diapers. In this pocket, I also have more diapers. I'm going to show you what I have in here. So in here, this is actually a pocket for bottles. So I do have bottles in there. Um, you can have really big bottles in there. I have usually small bottles in there, so I can usually fit something else in there. Um, I keep infant Tylenol, especially because my son's teething. It's important um, that I keep Tylenol on me in case he gets a fever on the go. Um, that's just my personal preference. I like to travel with things like that, so I'm not like freaking out when the time comes. I like to be a prepared mommy. In the middle pocket, I have more diapers. And in here, I keep some nail files, because I'm always nail filing with Bryce. And I also have pacifier wipes in here from mom. And whenever like his 
the nipple from his bottle touches the floor if he like throws it or something or his pacifier falls on the ground you can always use these to kind of sterilize them before you give it back to him which is fantastic and I've handed them to my mommy friends to use before um, what I usually also keep in that um, in that pouch which I kind of just ran out of I also keep hand and face wipes I, I think they're somewhere hand and face wipes um, for Bryce so that I don't have to use necessarily water wipes. I can use like to clean his hands. He's always chewing on his hands. Um, so I keep those in there as well. I think they're by Baby Gannics. I'm not 100% sure. And then I also keep um, toy and high chair wipes. So in case, you know, he drops his toys on the ground or I want to wipe something down at someone else's house or I'm going somewhere and I want to wipe something down, I use that. In the pocket in here, I keep many hand sanitizers, and I also keep them in my stroller as well. And then my stroller, I have a spray hand, um, a spray sanitizer that's actually um, made out of like water and hydrochloric acid, I believe it's called. And um, if you just spray it, you don't have to leave it for too long um, or wipe it down like you would have to alcohol. You can just spray it on things, which is great my friend told me about it so I have multiple types of san hand sanitizer on me at all times um, I make sure that in the event that I get sick my son doesn't get sick um, on, on baby related I have makeup um, and I also have sunglasses baby 100% baby related I have a charge in here because I'm terrible at keeping my phone charged and you always want to have your phone charged in the event of emergency with a baby, especially if you don't have a landline or you're somewhere and you need to get in contact with someone. Um, lastly, this is not really for baby um, yet, but when he gets old enough, I'll have one for him. I keep an EpiPen in my bag just in case I have allergic reaction or someone around me has one. Um, children of a certain age can also get an EpiPen, but you have to get the kids dosage. Um, so I highly suggest if you have a kid of a certain age um, to use that as well. Another thing I want to mention that I saw in a video before and I thought it was a great idea, um, headphones for children. I do have headphones for Bryce, um, but I'm not sure where they are right now because he was too small to wear them. But now he can actually wear them, so I need to find them. Headphones in case you go to like, lunch at a noisy place or you want to go to like uh, somewhere where, ha where it has live music and you don't necessarily want the baby waking up or the sound might be too loud That's a great thing to carry and you can Amazon Prime them really quick Another thing is sunglasses baby sunglasses you can keep in there um, My son has some but it's not sunny right now, so I don't have them in my bag But um, when we went to Florida, I kept baby sunglasses. They come in a cute little case You can get them on Amazon as well and that's great because the babies are always squinting and um Sometimes they want to nap and the sun's in their eyes, so definitely I would keep that in there as well. Um, and uh, if you want vacation, maybe you want to carry a little mosquito net for the shoulder as well. So those are my just like little tips. I hope um, that helped you. I'm trying to think of anything else, but I can't really think of anything else. If you have any questions specifically about what I carry in my bag, or just um, maybe you want to request a video about something mommy related, feel free to DM me on Instagram or message me here or comment below. I love hearing what you want to know about as far as mommy stuff goes because I'm a new mom. It's exciting to me and I used to watch these videos as well. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.